Hello and welcome to another Kyle Connor YouTube channel video. Not every video on this channel, I guess, has to do with cars uh, because it's my channel. I can put up kind of whatever we want, but I thought I would at least bring you along. Maybe we can get some viewer advice. We have a problem, which is our driveway is full. The street is full of cars, even going down that way a little bit. The garage is full and this isn't even all the vehicles we have. And we have no test vehicles here at the moment. So space is an issue. We have an office on the north side of town, but we don't have enclosed parking space, which is kind of what we need. So today, one of our viewers, Mark, is super cool. He's a realtor in town here in Fort Collins, Colorado. And we're going to go look at warehouses. Now, Alyssa, this has been her push to find us a warehouse to store everything. And then I was like, well, if we're getting space, let's get one big enough. We can have like an indoor shooting location because it's winter time's coming and I don't know. Filming locations. Filming locations. <laughs> yeah, well, shooting, filming, I, it's all, all the same to me. I think it's fun. If we can have an indoor shooting range, that would be awesome. Yeah. But Alyssa, explain to us what we're doing today. Uh, so we're going to two separate locations. Um, one we really love and one we kind of like. Uh, so we're just kind of getting an idea of how much space we need. And um, yeah, because one's huge and one's not as big. So we'll, we'll show you guys. Okay, so that's the first I'm hearing about it as well. I think, what car should we take? I guess the Model S, the Rivian's kind of dead. So I guess we'll jump in the Model S, go around, start looking for some spaces. I put the arrow wheels back on the Model S yesterday because I want to do some range testing. And um, yeah, let's go make sure the wheels are bolted on correctly. It's always a 50-50 chance if I'm doing the work and see if we can find a spot to stuff all the cars. That way I can just have one commuting vehicle, whether it's the Smart or the Leaf, keep it in the garage. Alyssa can keep her e-tron here and then the trailer, the Sprinter, everything else can be undercover. That's the idea at least. Hopefully we'll find it soon. Inside the Model S now, I can just hit the brake. It goes into reverse automatically. Did you park the Rivian like that? You've been parking the Rivian like that. No, I've gotten it to to park a little bit farther back no, there. No, it's really been no different. Yeah. I'm, I'm right by I'm the knob. I'm having to off-road this thing. Someone's coming or no? Someone's coming. I can hear it. But you're good now. It is a hard thing to back out of with the uh, Rivian there and no rear cross traffic alert in the Model S. No, if that were my Audi, it would have slammed It would have been beep, 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 and then hit the brakes. All right, there we go. Little scrape, damn. Got to go out on a little bit more of an angle. The, the Model S suspension is in high suspension automatically. And then we just really need to get the thing to put in front of the driveway. Here's another car that we stuffed there. OK, so let's go take a look at the first one. You know where it Feeling is? Feeling a big vibration out of this thing. Mm -hmm. That doesn't feel right. It feels right here. I feel it through the steering. So, I don't know. Maybe we need to get this thing checked out. Did you feel it yesterday as well? Uh, I didn't really take note of it. I don't know. I'm feeling like maybe something's not totally perfect. But the, smart, the, the smart thump is That's back. a tire. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. But I'm thinking that one of the motors isn't perfect on this car after the, uh, after the accident. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Need to drive it around a little bit more. That's why today I'm not You need to drive it hard. Well, actually, it only happens gently is when the issue pops up. Uh -huh. So I just need to spend more time with it. That's why I'm glad we're driving it today. Um, my friend Ryan, who's making the steering wheel retrofit kit for us, is uh, he said version three of his situation. Wow, that feels really not good. Uh, version three of his steering wheel situation should be ready in about two and a half weeks from now. So then we can have a nice round wheel on this thing. And does does he sell them or is it just kind of a because you know him? No, I think it's a friends and family gig. And I think he was looking at finding a place to sell them. So maybe I suggested to sell them through Drew. I don't know what will happen. But once he makes the kit, then hopefully he can just sell off the IP and someone else can manufacture them. Right. All right. So the first place is really nice, right? We're heading to the one just over here. Yes, this and, is the smaller one. And this is the, the building that I wanted to be in all along because um, Hemi, they have a free charge point charger. Correct. It's a really nice location. The thing is, there's a lot of like old 
the ratty looking storage locations but there's town. a lot of new ones that are popping up and there's a lot of new ones so i was like okay if we're going to have a little storage location that's where we're going to be keeping the cars i imagine we're going to be filming inside of there a lot especially during bad weather winter yeah, but how did time how do you control the sound because isn't it going to be pretty echoey in a well, that's going to be like the project. That? Yeah, we'll have to get some sound deadening, probably a couple thousand dollars worth of sound deadening. And um, yeah, I've got to make it look nice. Like it's not going to be cheap to do all this. But um, I think we are looking to rent rather than buy. And right, yeah, we don't want to be locked down to anything. We don't mm -hmm. want to be locked down to anything. And then eventually all of this will move to the out of spec ranch in a couple of years, whenever that, that all happens. So okay. we're really trying to buy ourselves two or three years worth of temporary space. But it has to be nice enough where we can film. It needs to look somewhat premium, I think, at least. So and like and subscribe. So like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> so the first spot, you literally have been on the entire commute with us. It's just over here. So uh, let's pull in the parking lot, and that's a good distance. Wow. That's what I'm looking for. No wonder you like this no one. No wonder I like this one. Oh, yes. okay. Yeah. It's just remember... down over here. Oh, no, it's not this building. It's No, it's right down this road. Uh... It's actually right next to the Fort Collins police station. Just where we need to be. Right. Well, that's. We actually only... have a good rapport with the police station. Yeah, we we know... like the chief. Yeah, then? we know the, some of the guys in town. Yeah. But sometimes they're a bit much. Oh, uh, yeah. There's a couple that are well known. To Three be a bit miles much. an hour over the speed limit. You're. Your license plate's two degrees off center. I've never dealt with them, but I know people who have. Me. So, yeah, let's go right up over here. If you take a look forwards, I'll just speed up so everyone can see it. We won't go flying by the police station, which is right here on the right side of your screen. They do. Yeah, so that's, that's the beautiful police. building. It is gorgeous. That's It's a little bit too nice, if yeah, you ask I know. me. A little too nice. <laughs> Honestly, Colorado, there's just like not a lot enough crime here to where they just have to put the money and stuff like that. We got a $750 back on our taxes just for filing in Colorado because they didn't spend enough money. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's pretty crazy. This is the building here. Uh, we've checked these out, haven't we? That's what I said. This is where I've wanted to be the whole time. Yeah. And I believe, so the charge point charger, the free one's just here. So I guess we'll just charge up. May as well. Yeah. All right. Okay. And then what I really wanted was this one where the NOCO Customs home, Homes were. Yeah, they need to leave. There's an L. Just kidding. And then there's like a little indoor playhouse situation over here. What? Yeah. For adults? I don't think so. Oh. I think it's just for kids. Oh. Okay, so let's just back our own in. Charge point and we'll get the uh, get the juice. Why not? Let's go see this place. So here we are at option number one. Uh, it's basically two units right here. It's a little bit of like a retail space, so it's a bit more expensive. You can see Tire Shop, Dutch Bros, Burger King, um, and then there's like a couple other like customer facing sites, but it's really, I think, the perfect amount of space. Here we are. Here's Mark. How's it going, sir? Good. How are you? Alyssa, what do you think? To me, this looks pretty dang cool. So how would we get the cars inside of here? So there's a the door right over there. Yep. We would just turn that into a garage and then do a little concrete cut. Okay, and nice. I'll talk to the broker about doing that. So basically in this little area, that could be a big garage door. Mm -hmm. And that would be cool. And then we could reserve like a little area for filming over here. There's plenty of room for some lifts. If we wanted to have some lifts, which I'm sure eventually we would. Maybe a little upstairs balcony. But how much does it cost to put in the floor and to do all of that? That can't be cheap. It depends on what's negotiated. Mm. So however long we do the lease, we could probably negotiate some tenant improvement into that. Okay. So if we say, hey, we'll be here for three years or four years, they may say, great, we'll put in the floor for you mm -hmm. exactly. and the garage door. Okay. Yep. That could be kind of interesting. So option number one, what do you think? I like it a lot. It's a good space. It's the perfect space. It looks great. There's parking spaces on the outside. It's relatively quiet, but very expensive very expensive. because retail and we're not selling anything really. So maybe not the perfect spot when we factor in price, but definitely close to home. Lots of activity would be cool for people to come and visit. I don't know. All right, there you go. Option one. All right. Well, there is option one we've toured. I think absolutely perfect. What do you think, Alyssa? 
like it a lot. It's just it's a retail space, so it's a bit more expensive. How much is it? Like twenty six a square foot, twenty two a square foot. Yes, for yeah, twenty two. I think it's twenty two per year. Here's Mark's Model X, pretty sweet. Uh, so, uh, oh, all right. CrossFit gym, right there for you. CrossFit gym. Oh, never mind. I really hate this place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is, oh yeah, you said this is a yeah, gym. Yeah, the Outrun. Is it not? It's for adults. It's for adults. I don't know. It's parkour. Oh, hardcore parkour. We just send Blue over here. Yeah, I know. Blue would love it. Blue would love it. Okay, so there we go. Option one. Really freaking perfect. Very nice. The grass is nice. It's a premium place to film. The videos would look good. It's got heat already in there. Let me tell you about this grass, Bermuda. And then Mark's like, Kyle, you just can't say those things in front of the other broker because they're going to charge you out the ass. And I'm like, I don't want to be involved with those negotiations. Alyssa can tell you everything that's wrong with it. The price is just crazy, though. That's the thing. Price is not right. Price is not right. So, I mean, we just, we would have to have some serious negotiations to, to make this one work. Mark seems to think we could get there, but uh, here he goes rolling up in the Model X P100D, I believe. Pretty sweet. Modded. I need to talk to him about those tinted taillights, though. Not cool. <laughs> All right. So over to the charger we go. We got the Model S plugged in and we're off to go look at option number two. Alrighty, so... Mark's just over here. I guess we're going to follow him over. There he is. So let's see if the plaid can keep up with the P100D. What a cool guy. You know what? I actually met him randomly at the bank once. He's lived in town his whole life. He knows everything about Fort Collins. And uh, yeah, just, just an awesome dude. Great to have him as our real estate agent. So... If you take a look ahead, you can see we're just following him over. I'll let you know when we get to the next location. Don't know how far away it is, but we're off. And now you join us over here at the second location. Amazing views. Same views we have from our office. Our existing office is actually just right over there. So very convenient location. We're actually going to be keeping the existing office as more for like editing space and studio space. And then this is more of the car storage location. Still don't have my license plates for the Model S. I don't know what's going on with that. But take a look at this. This is a beautiful brand new building. Pretty sleepy. I don't think anyone's here yet. Um, but gorgeous looking on the outside. Plenty of parking around the outside. So I am pleased with this so far. Um, yeah, what the heck? This thing, this looks great. Let's take a look inside. Whoa. <laughs> Moly smokes. This thing is huge up here. So no mezzanine on the end. Depends. Probably could be built, but... Yeah, but has any of these been leased yet, or is this all wide open? All wide open. So that's pretty neat. So obviously we don't need a space this big, maybe one day. <laughs> <laughs> but the idea would be we could kind of select how much room we wanted, mm -hmm. and then they could we could negotiate maybe them building a, a wall for us. Yes, correct. Okay, very neat. And maybe it would be cheaper if we start on that end yeah. because there's already a wall there. But also the same problem with the mezzanine where it's only in the middle sections. But that's okay. That can all be sorted. Well, honestly, I really like the whole thing. So how much would that cost? <laughs> Way too much. Yeah. Yeah, that would be crazy, but nice, nice space. Just exploring a little bit on the outside. What a nice day. Lots of cool modern homes with solar in here, for example. Um, lots of power coming into this building, which is nice. Transformers right there. I think our offer would actually be for the end two garage units. I want to say it would be about 10,000 square feet, probably more than what we need, in all honesty. But take a look in here. That those ends, we'd forego the mezzanine, let's just say. We could always build it if we wanted to, but that would be a really nice amount of space for us to film. Um, one thing that does have me a little concerned is the space here to the garage doors, getting our trailer in, for example. I think having it on the end would be easier to get in. It's a long trailer. Um, for sure, the, they're tall enough to put the Sprinter inside for winter storage, but um, I think that's the only issue. Location's nice right near the other office. Again, transformer right there and we could have our own little racetrack through the streets but i think it might be a bit too expensive 
everything's a bit too expensive, but I think we can negotiate. We'll see. They haven't sold any yet. All right. Well, here we are just pulling out of the building and a huge thanks to Mark for taking the time today, the last hour or so to show us these two options. Um, those two options were two of our favorites. I guess he sent you like 20 different options, right, Alyssa? Yeah, a lot, but these are the newer, like the new built stuff. There's a lot the... of old ones that just don't look or feel good that feel like the wind blows i'm actually doing a loop around the building uh -huh. so i'm just trying to think back and in the trailer to here it it's is going to be pretty doable hard. but gosh that's going to be tough i still think the first option in adding our own garage door mm -hmm. would be ideal this just goes far back here though so it's massive take a look ahead apparently it's broken up into two different sections mm -hmm. hosted by two different brokers so this is where trash would go. Okay. We could use the Nissan Leaf as the trash. Oh, sprinkler system. Sprinklers are going. Apparently the dude owns like this whole- I've it though. Yeah, the sprinklers like are over. on the, a little bit too much there. <laughs> then we're back around to the front. We could have the donut section in the cul-de-sac. Mm -hmm. Take a look to the right. So that could be the, the skid pad. Uh, yeah. And we could do drag races right down here. Uh-huh. I mean, there's a bump in the middle, but they're not our cars. What do we care? We care a lot. I know, I'm just joking. Yeah, I don't know if you'd want to hit this. Maybe it's not that bad. Oh, that's really not bad. And then you just come in in full breaks and we annoy the people living in the homes here. So that's uh, that's the day today. Just a quick video looking at those two properties. Let us know which ones you would go with or would we should we look for something different um, around? You know, I think our our budget is pretty flexible, but I don't want to end up spending too much money ultimately just for a big garage. Um, but I do want to have it as a place where we can wash cars, where we can store cars and where we can film cars, especially during bad weather um, situations. So we good. Mm -hmm. And I really like this little slip road over here. This is kind of cool. And um, yeah, and it needs to look pretty good on the outside and need to be somewhat close to home. So it needs to be in town. There's plenty of options if we go outside of town, but then we're into a 20, 25, 30 minute drive. And that is too far for something we're gonna go to every day. Why would we commute if we don't have to? So still like the first option. What do you think, Alyssa? Yeah, I think the first option is really great. I mean, I just worry about what the second option that it's just too narrow and the getting in and out of it with the trailer with the is trailers, a little tight back there. And we don't really want to compromise on anything. If we're, if we're doing this, we need to do it right because we're going to be here for quite some time. So I, I would go for it if the price was right though. The price was right, yeah, but I don't... But it doesn't sound it like doesn't, it's going to be that right. It sounds pretty complicated, but that's why we have... Mark is helping us. Yeah. Commercial real estate's a wild west though, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's kind of wild. So, all right, there we go. End of the video. Thanks for watching. See you in another one soon.